Hello, and welcome to my presentation, Killer Cactus Moths in Texas. So, we all know that ecosystems can be and often are fairly delicate, with a distribution of organisms that after years of change and creates and maintains a great balance. This is wonderful, one of the truly amazing parts about nature around us, that is until someone new wants to move in. Oftentimes when species find a new habitat that they can thrive in by moving around, they create issues for the previously existing ecosystem. New invasive species, as we call them, oftentimes eliminate important food sources, create an uneven level of predation, or just outcompete other organisms in general in a way that is negative to an environment as a whole. Invasive species usually enter a new area either on their own by traveling great distances or by being introduced by another species, like our own. We actually have a long history of attempting to introduce species to areas in order to reduce the population of pests, but it has in many cases gone awry, with the invasive species spreading much farther and much faster than we anticipate, with no natural predators to stem their growth. Now, here in Texas, we have many unique ecosystems, and the one we are best known for is our desert and plains-like environments. Enter the cactus moth. So, the title would suggest that the cactus moth is a giant beast stomping around eating innocent creatures, but that isn't the case. The cactus moth is actually very small, but is still a killer nonetheless. The cactus moth is an organism that is native to South America. Its larvae feed on cactus, giving it its characteristic name, and this is also what makes it a harmful killer, a killer of cacti. These species larvae are orange and black. The adult forms look very much like a traditional moth, being small and mostly gray and brown. Adult cactus moths have wingspans of 22 to 35 millimeters, and a full-grown larvae is only about 25 to 30 millimeters long, just to give you an idea of how small these insects are. The cactus moth has usually been used by our own species to help limit cactus populations in certain areas via introduction. They, in the past, have done a very good job in certain areas. In fact, they were once used to treat a huge infestation of cacti in Australia. Unfortunately, their pros are also their cons, and sometimes they are so good at their job that they have a devastating effect on the environments they are introduced to. So, now that we covered what the cactus moths are, we can talk about what it is that the cactus moths are doing to the Texas ecosystem. Cactus moths first appeared in the U.S. in the Florida Keys in the year 1989. Since then, they have spread across the United States desert environments, causing major problems for many of these environments, including those in Texas. They are slowly reducing the population of native cactus we have here in Texas, which are vital to many of the drier ecosystems we have here in Texas. The areas that are truly facing an issue are the desert ecosystems and the plains ecosystems. Now, you may be thinking, well, oh, what's the big deal? They're just a bunch of cacti. Nobody likes cacti, but they're actually extremely important. Many of the organisms that live in these ecosystems depend on the fruit and water stored within the body of these plants. Therefore, cactus moths attacking these desert plants and reducing their populations has a major effect on the ecosystem as a whole due to loss of nutrition and habitat. A huge issue with the cactus moth also is that there aren't a lot of predators to limit the population of these moths. The ecosystems haven't adapted and evolved to stem the growth of this population. Also, if you think about the relative lifespan of a moth, only a few months compared to the time it takes for a cactus to grow to adulthood, most cactuses live past 20 years. It is easy to see how hard it would be for a cacti to keep up with a growing population of cactus moths. Well, Luckily for us Texans, not all hope is lost. An effort to stem the population of cactus moths is underway as an attempt to save our desert ecosystems. When cactus moth sighting reports are sent into an organization that specializes in the reduction of populations of pests like these, an attempt is made to eliminate the moth population in that reported area. If we remain vigilant and active, we can still save our deserts. So, thank you everybody for your time and keep an eye out for those killer cactus moths.